going to announce uh, the next duo. Uh, also a bass player on gut strings, Ernst Glerum, uh, with piano player Timothy Benchett. Enjoy.
Ernst Gleerem aan de bass en Timothy Bansett aan de piano. Yes, they did one more than we expected. Um, Ernst Glerem on the bass and Timothy Bensett on the piano. Uh, Timothy Bensett, uh, they played uh, together more often uh, this duo, but I don't know if they played together like 
with just the two of them, I'm going to ask Ernst. Uh, you might have seen them play with together with Bam and Herman, uh, and uh, also with the drummer Jamie Pate, who played yesterday uh, here on this Spring Stream Festival. If this is the first day you're watching, uh, be sure to check out uh, the website to see also yesterday with uh, six fantastic duos who have played then. Um, yeah, Ernst is on his way. You might know him from, amongst others, uh, Instant Composers Pool Orchestra. Uh, he's been around a long time in the Dutch improvisation scene and jazz scene. And um, he named tonight uh, the set they played Gut Feeling because uh, the songs were uh, an homage to bass players who played really the gut strings, old-fashioned strings. And that is something, actually, I want to ask Ernst everything about. Uh, Ernst, you can, uh, you can come. Uh, you are welcome here. Uh, there is a drink. There is a microphone. Here is the bass. And uh, there is the camera for the people at home. Ernst, thank you so much for your set. Um, have a sip first. So, since how long do you play gut strings on your bass? Um, long. You started out on on the on the what they call regular strings nowadays, or I started out on steel strings. Yeah, on uh, these uh, pretty tough classical piastro strings. Uh huh. And then I changed. I wanted to change to the gut strings. What can you explain? What is actually a gut string well it's not a, uh, a vegan concept it's uh, uh -huh. it's about guts from the sheep from the sheep okay yes and uh, yeah they do stuff with it so gut strings is normal practice for all string players uh, let's say till the world world war two yeah and even after in the jazz music also uh -huh. And then at a certain, certain point they developed the steel string, right. which is more precise and stable uh -huh. and um, yeah, and good sound too, I mean, but a very different sound. Okay. If you, uh, what, what's the difference? For the, the, the main difference is the, um, is the, the tension. Uh -huh. And um, the gut strings, they are a low tension strings, so they are pretty uh, wobbly. They can yeah. they, they can move uh, easily. Uh huh. So in that respect, they are um, sort of easier to play on the bass because it's less um, less kilos that you have to press away. Okay. Oh yeah. 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 That makes a big difference. But okay. at the other hand, they are much more unpredictable. The yeah. way they behave, it's they depend on the weather, on the humidity, on uh -huh. the dryness. They can detune very easily, uh -huh. and for bowing, it's uh, quite something to control. Okay, yeah, yeah. How are your strings behaving today? Rain? They were fantastic. Yeah. Is, yes. is rain good when you play on God strings? I don't know. I actually <laughs> don't know. I actually <laughs> don't know. But I think uh, no. I'm, I think the atmosphere here is is pretty, is uh, like yeah, good yeah. humidity. So okay. it's like there's nothing extreme uh -huh. going on. Uh -huh. So it's fine. Uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. We we talk about it because uh, uh, well, first of all, it's uh, most of bass players uh, they use the regular strings nowadays. So if you play the gut strings, it's an exception. And then you decided, okay, tonight. Uh, you're gonna actually pay homage to the yes. to the gut players. Who are who are gut players? We sh we should know or that we can know. Well, actually, like the uh, if we talk about jazz music, um, what we love in this music in in that sound, it's mostly the jazz music from the well, let's say from the 20s on to the 50s. Yeah. Especially the 50s, the, like the kind of blue is kind of the highlight of the for a lot of yeah. people. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's all gut sound. Okay. What you hear on on those recordings is all gut gut sound bass. Uh huh. And that it makes this music, in my opinion, also so incredibly beautiful. 
right because of that sound and is it uh, is it warmer or um, yes ah. i think it's warmer yeah and is why why shouldn't uh, why doesn't everybody play on it then they except, can be more expensive the, yeah. and of course there is a, a you know it's a matter of taste also i mean yeah. there's incredible fantastic players who uh who play steel strings yeah. ray brown started out playing gut strings but changed to steel strings I okay think, like many players did uh-huh uh-huh okay and um so it depends a bit on who f for young bass players now is uh what kind of sound you want to mm -hmm. create mm -hmm. if you say uh, expensive i think most people don't have an idea what people what musicians have to pay for the all their stuff they're using like saxophone reading Can, uh -huh. how much how much for a packet of gut strings that you use how much you have to pay for them it depends a bit there's different brands of course um if you're a luxury type you can spend i think even i wouldn't know because these are old strings i didn't buy them for a long time um i think you can spend easily 500 euros for a packet for a pack of four strings yes and then how long will they last it depends on the player I uh, for you i'm cheating a bit so i have two gut strings and i have two steel strings on it okay so yeah. for the lower strings i use the steel because of the clarity yeah uh -huh. and the, the the sound and um yeah I, I i do quite a long time with them these ones are on it for at least a year mm -hmm. so that's pretty okay mm -hmm. how yeah. much do you spend on reeds in a year yeah a, a lot of money too huh? a lot of money yeah, it, it goes up eh? because of the panda beers they they eat all the bamboo really yeah and then uh, the saxophone players have less bamboo for the reeds yeah that i heard about the reed yeah. is getting <laughs> getting uh, rare or something yeah yeah it's true it's oh, true yeah. but yeah, yeah that is that's a whole different story but and but this this the tunes you played can you explain how they relate to this um to the gut strength theme for you yes of course so these are uh, the, the pieces that we played are examples from that time there's the, uh, we played um the ellington the first piece kind of dukish uh-huh um he played it in a trio with the, the beautiful bass player uh, Wendell Marsh Marshall. That's got sound. It's uh, it's for me. It's uh, also Duke Ellington. I really love him. Yeah. And then of course we played the, the two uh, pieces that are made famous, I think, by Bud Powell, the piano player. Mm -hmm. He he used to play with many different bass players. Ray Brown. He played many recordings also with Bud Powell and okay. then he played gut strings also. right okay and of course we did it, I did a homage to Jimmy Blanton mm -hmm. the great uh, uh, um, young young bass player who died at a very young age and he he became famous because Ellington invited him to play duets okay yeah so that yeah. was a great motivation for me to dedicate this program as it's a celebration yeah. because uh, I feel like uh, it's a celebration now because of spring yeah. that things open again you know uh -huh. and uh -huh. and and that it's a new beginning and a party it should be party actually okay very yes. good thank you so much Ernst Schlieren you're very welcome